and now the latest around the wide world of Tropex. Tropical Weather Bulletin for May 28th. Yas is still a remnant low that is still traceable on day 148 of the year so far, in which 26 storms have formed in this year so far. Jumping straight into the Atlantic, four days to go until hurricane season, it's still relatively quiet with no areas of interest expected to form in the next five days. Hopefully, this period of quiet still lasts for the foreseeable future. Moving straight over to the Eastern Pacific in day 14 of hurricane season, we rather alarmingly have an 80% uh, area of interest which should be invested fairly soon. And we also have a 30% area of interest that is following rather closely behind it. Over in the Western Pacific, we have 99W at a 70% chance of formation, closely followed by 90W at 50%, and both of these storms should continue to track westwards towards the Philippines over in the coming days. Over in the North Indian, we still have Yas as a traceable remnant low. No other areas of interest are forming in this part of the world, so hopefully this area should stay quiet for the coming days. Over in the Southern Pacific, um, we have a, a new area of interest in this part of the world, which is not expected to form, but we have given it a cautionary 10%, just in that off chance that it does. Jumping over to the Southwest Indian, we have a 50% uh, area of interest that is currently marked down, which is expected to track slowly towards Western Australia. Jumping over to the satellite imagery over in the North Atlantic as it goes dark. Again, not really a lot of information to be expected. Or I should say um, activity rather, ex excuse me. Um, Jumping straight back into the East Pacific, you can see the area of interests, the 80% and the uh, 30%, if I recall correctly, uh, still bubbling and churning away, and we are still keeping a rather close eye on them. Jumping over to the West Pacific now, you can see uh, Invest's 99 and 90, or 99 W and 90 W, uh, also continuing to uh, churn away at the bottom of your screen there, which uh, as they continue to develop, we will be keeping a very close eye on those two invests as well. Jumping over into the North Indian, you can just about see parts of Remnant Low Yas in the top of your screen there, along with some pretty decent rainfall continuing near uh, Myanmar. Sea surface temperatures, the Atlantic is continuing to warm up. The Gulf of Mexico is still pretty average for this time of year. Uh, the Bay of Bengal uh, has still not quite recovered after Yas has moved through. Arabian Sea still also relatively the same temperature as it was. West Pacific is still fairly warm as well uh, and as uh, 99 and 90 continue to uh, track towards their direction uh, we should be seeing somewhat of an impact if those two invests do form. Sea surface temperature anomalies now um, it's more or less the same story as yes as yesterday. Um, the East Pacific is still pretty cooler than average. The Western Pacific still fairly warm. Bay, Bay of Bengal has a slight blip of cooler than average. Uh, and the Atlantic or parts of the Atlantic, you can pretty much draw a line from the Caribbean all the way up to Spain of above average and just above that line, a period of cooler than average temperatures. 
on this day, uh, Hurricane Amanda, as this uh, storm was given, uh, made landfall on this day in 1863 as a Category 2 system with upwards of 110 fatalities. Uh, the storm made, wet, made landfall west of Apalachicola. Uh, please forgive me if I've butchered the pronunciation of that. It was given the name Amanda after the USS Amanda washed ashore and that same ship recorded a central pressure of 975 millibars, placing this storm as an estimated category 2. All right, next up on the Atlantic storm naming list, we have Bill followed by Claudette. Eastern Pacific storm names, we have Blanca followed by Carlos, which we could be seeing fairly soon. Central Pacific, we are still waiting on Hone. Over in the Western Pacific here on list four, we are still waiting for Choi Wan to make an appearance, followed by Koguma. Over in the North Indian, we are waiting for Gulab, followed by Shaheen. Over in the Australian region, we are still waiting on Paddy, then followed by Ruby. Southwest Indian, we are still waiting for Kanga if that forms before July. And over in the Fiji region, we are still waiting on Cody. That's all for this of tonight's Tropical Weather Bulletin. We will have a we will be back with another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow night.